something that's going to give you a good bit of damage increase. Um, if you can if you can pop up corrosive, that gives you an extra 700 DPS just from the dot. So that's that's a good one to go for. Um, the boots, you want to go for plus to web spray. If you can roll, if you can roll a double roll, meaning that web the web spray rolls twice, you can get up to plus 10 web spray on boots. Um, that's going to be your best bet. The absolute perfect roll would be a double double roll web spray and then a plus five to spidey pummel, and plus ten plus ten web spray plus five spidey pummel. That that would be huge, and even a unique would be hard pressed to beat that. Which is uh, which is a uh, which is going to be one of those things that when uniques come out, you have to you have to realize that you have to you have to compare your unique to one of the best rolled cosmics, and and you really have to fight for a good unique. Otherwise, you look at Squirrel Girls uniques right now, and it's in a rough place. And that's because I don't I don't think there's I don't think there's somebody there fighting for that hero. And it's 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 good and it's a bad thing that like this is a really community driven game, yeah. but you have to have a very vocal and knowledgeable person in that in that position. To kind of communicate with the development team to tell them, you know, what is, what is strong for this character and what's not, because they have 24 heroes and you know they don't ha they don't have the biggest development team, so they they don't they can't spend as much time as you would on a uh, on a hero. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm currently holding my left because people say that my gear is shit, and they're totally right. <laughs> I have not <laughs> spent much time on Spider-Man other than to get this this uh, synergy. So yeah, you're correct, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's uh, all right. That's let's, all right. Let's go to the team insignia slot. Okay. Um, the insignia slot. Uh, right now, one of the one of the best DPSing ones is going to be Erica Grady. Uh, even with a low crit, like Spider Man has, I'm at let's see, I'm at like 15% chance to crit. I can still keep up uh, Erica Grady pretty efficiently. Um, it's going to give me 240, 294 damage rating for three seconds. Um, and then what? Obviously, whatever uh, plus spirit. Or like whatever affix you have minus plus spirit is not it's not a good one. Uh, what would be great would be plus melee damage or plus range if you're going web barrage. But yeah, like that, you can just crit there, so it's up. Dots can crit, so they can keep it up too. So it's it's pretty easy to keep up, and they they stack with other people. Like I don't know if you have one on cable, but they 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 stack between the two of us, so that's good. All right, yeah, have fun. Um, let's see. Plus, oh, so uh, so your costume, um. So I've already explained why crit and brutal strike rating um, are uh, are kind of weak right now, mm -hmm. um, which is which is why you shouldn't go for it on costumes. Um, it's that that crit you get from it is just going to be reduced by forty percent. Um, so your best bet right now is is either plus damage rating or plus uh, damage rating against targets attacking you. Um, you can get up to, I think it's eight hundred, either eight hundred or a thousand. You get up to around eight hundred to a thousand damage. Uh, Damage rating on a costume, and then with a uh, with damage targets attacking you, you get up to fifteen hundred damage rating. Right. Um, if right now in a group, if you're running in a group, damage rating is what you want. If you're running if you're running solo, you can go with damage rating against targets attacking you. Um, I rolled two costumes, um, so I have both. Uh, my bagman has the damage rating against targets attacking you. All right. Um, if they make it so taunt uh, bypasses tenacity. Damage rating against targets attacking you could be the best um, if you had a reliable way to keep people on you, um, but right now you don't. So, um, relic of Lemuria is going to be your best relic. Um, yeah, just the 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 spirit or the uh, health proc is just really strong. Uh, it's really it scales really well as as well. Mm -hmm. um, the next best would probably be melee damage. Um, on ranged, I would even. Even if I had good health regen, I still wouldn't go with the range damage one for the range build, just because it doesn't scale as well as the melee damage yeah, one. It's it's just not worth it. Um, the options for um, artifacts for the melee build is going to be um, in order of priority. Is going to be your advanced meta sensory array. Um, mm -hmm. It gives up to I think eight percent attack speed, like three hundred and three hundred and something damage rating, and then the big the big one is plus to all powers. That plus to all powers is going to give you a higher percent on web spray, higher percent on spidey, spidey pummel, um, higher percent dodge, higher percent defense. It's just the plus one is really underrated, and yeah. it's it's a really strong affix on a artifact. Uh, then your next best is probably going to be a normal meta sensory array. Um, you can you can use that so you can you can use an advanced and, and a high rolled normal yeah uh, for the same reasons uh, another good one after that is going to be um, advanced crimson uh, plus like I, I have a plus five seventy damage rating on physical fourteen forty one health two percent chance of becoming invuln that's a strong one 
uh, super heroic Yukios. You can roll like plus 600 damage to, for melee wait, wait, powers. Was that, that one. Uh, Crimson Crystal Sidorek, you mean? Yeah, the advanced Crimson Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, Yukios is a good one. Um, Faultine, uh, for a melee build, Faultine isn't, isn't very good just because Spidey Pummel doesn't attack as quickly as Web Barrage does, so it's kind of difficult to keep up that, that triple stack of the dot. Um, because I have I have like 15% crit chance, so 15% crit chance on a 3.1 attack speed is actually really low. Um, if you have 11 attacks per second, you can absolutely keep it up with only 15% attack or crit. But I can't do it on melee, so it loses out. Um, but on web barrage builds, Faultine is is definitely the way to go. Um, and then the medallion, you want a uh, you either want a, a really a really good rolled tombstone medallion, um, which is kind of hard to get because they they only spawn in uh, Midtown. Um, or you want a Dr. Doom medallion. Um, I have a Cosmic one on that rolled like 368 damage rating. Um, try to... Spider-Man, the only, the only, uh, the only buff duration you really want to worry about keeping up is your, is your web shield. Um, and because of that, you, the, the power duration isn't as important as the plus damage. Go for a high health and a high plus damage, and then try to get like 15% plus on power duration. Uh, the higher the better, but go for the plus damage. And that is melee, Spider-Man. All right. I don't know if people want to want to hear the range one, but uh... yeah, I can go through that quickly because there's only a few things that change. Um, so for the for the build, uh, the only thing on the in the crime fighter tree you grab is the plus one to spider to the fly. It just gives you a little bit of crit and brute for the one point you invest. Mm -hmm. um, one point web swing attack for the CC break. One point amazing smash. Uh, um, and then that's it. That's it from that tree. Um, and then you max that web spray. You max out stick around. You max out web barrage. You max out corrosive. Yeah. Uh, you max out spider sense. One point superior agility. One point web swinging. Max out infuriating humor. And then I think you have like three points left, and you can put the rest in a web shield. All right. Um, and uh, and this build basically you have you don't have a basic, so you need a way to get spirit back. And the way to get spirit back is so your costumes everything everything on the left side and down is going to remain the same lemuria and all your and all your uh items the only things that are going to change are mots um mots arrowhead uh can roll up to a 20 percent chance to proc um that with 11 with 11 percent uh, or 11 attacks per second you're going to have it's going to proc on cooldown um so there's a one second cooldown on it and it's a uh, Let's see, 15.6 spirit when you hit with a power that causes a bleed. Yeah. So even though I don't have any powers that cause bleed, the proc itself is a bleed, and the proc itself can uh, um, can proc that spirit. So you're gonna you're gonna be getting basically 15.6 spirit per second by using this ability or by using this artifact, which means that your web barrage is now free because your web barrage only costs about 11 spirit per second. So you can spam it indefinitely, um, and uh, your medallion you want to use is going to be uh, mandarins. That's that's going to be that. I mean, with with an ability like web barrage or a yeah. dot build or something like that, that's your highest that's your highest DPS art or medallion. Um, it's it's crazy right now. Um, it'll be a little less crazy once they fix that bug on it. I still think it'll need some more tuning. Um, like it'll still be a really strong artifact after they after they fix it. Um, I don't know. I I don't like I don't like the way it is right now where you kind of have to. Kind of have to run a proc build if you want to be the most efficient. I don't like proc builds; no. they're kind of gimmicky. But that's the way it is right now. All right. Um, and then, before, and then um... the last one is uh, oh. sorry, the last one's Faultine. Um, Faultine, yeah. I've mentioned before, with high attack speed, you can keep up three dots. That's 1,200 DPS, not even including the crit. So the crit's going to increase that DPS as well. It's just it's it's kind of broken right now. It's one of the strongest one of the strongest artifacts. It it even beats out Advanced Meta Sensory for a lot of a lot of heroes. Yeah. Yeah, before I forgot, I wanted to go to the synergies. Uh, what synergies are best for him? Yeah. Um, so for let's go for melee first. Um, for melee, you're gonna want uh, Black Panther. Um, I don't I don't go with Daredevil just because when it comes to trying to get the most damage out of it, usually I'm fighting a boss and I don't need that damage on normal and elites. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't I don't go with him. Um, now Asgard may change that. There's a lot of trash, uh, so you can always just kind of switch that on and off. Um, Luke Cage, so Black Panther, Luke Cage, um, Squirrel Girl's a must, uh, Thing is a great one as well, um, 
just kind of depending on when they're attacking you. Same with Black Widow. I take both of them just because there's there's times in, it, in a fight where they're attacking me, and there's times when they're not. So that that four percent is 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 pretty good, even if it's only happening half the time. Mm-hmm. You you combine the two together, and if they're if they're split fifty fifty, that's still four percent damage increase yeah. for two synergies. Um, so that's Black Widow. Uh, I take I take Spider Man, even though the even though the dodge is reduced by suppression, it's still 1.2% dodge. Every little bit helps. Um, Thor is a good one, um, and then and then you're kind of left up. You left us some, to some choices. Uh, so that's seven. So you have you have three left. You can you can go with Cable if if you want. Just remember again, it's reduced by 40% for crit. Captain America is a good one um, for the deflect. Hulk health is always great. Um, yeah, those those are three good ones. Those those are probably the three that I, that I would go with. Um, all the others are are not really not really helpful to us as melee. Um, for range, the the stuff that'll change out would be uh, obviously you wouldn't use Black Panther. You'd still probably use Luke Cage for the physical damage. Um, so for so the for the range because a lot of your damage comes from that Mandarins and from the uh, Faltine. Uh, yeah. You're gonna want to go with you're gonna want to go with stuff like uh, uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, plus energy damage, you get plus four. Yeah. Jean Grey plus three. Cyclops plus two. Um, Iron Man plus two plus the range power damage. So you want to look at you want to look at trying to maximize the damage from your web barrage and from your procs. And almost all the procs except for one, which is the bleed, uh, are energy damage. So that's that's a big one. Is the is the energy damage procs? All right. Yeah. It 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 feels a bit. I I know what you mean. It feels a bit wrong to. Um... Run a proc build on Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah, and also to to even even your use your synergies for that one or two artifacts that you have. Um yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But that's that's, that's, that's the way it is. To, when you have to use when you have to use six or seven synergies to boost to to boost the damage from two artifacts, because those two artifacts are that strong. Yeah. Yeah. They I mean they know it. They know that's not intended. They're, they it wasn't intended to be that strong, so it may take a while to tone it back, but it's gonna be tone back so don't don't invest too much into a uh, into a build surrounded by those two artifacts all right well um yeah we, we didn't have uh, too much time as you said but we were going on for quite a, li- a bit of time i would like to ask the chat to ask uh, marshall black some questions while we're still here um i think it's too long to do a full doom run but maybe you, you... yeah it's fun uh, i uh, i got a uh, um let's see I kind of kind of don't, don't want to do a do a doom run right now, anyways, with the broken web spray, because I mean it really is a third of your damage getting taken out. Uh, right. But I do have a uh, just a couple of videos that I had up. All right. So they're in, they're in there. That's the that's the barrage build that uh, that I was running um, up until very recently, um, and it's got some some pretty quick times. Um, I haven't I haven't actually done any videos on the melee build because it hasn't been fixed yet. Uh, it hasn't been working 100 percent. Um, up until this new test center build, um, but I'll I'll have a I'll have a new build up pretty soon after that build goes live. All right, I linked it to, uh, I linked it to the chat so they can check that okay. out. Okay. Cool. Uh, could you maybe just quickly, you know, on the on the test server, just go go, rack havoc. Just do what you do when when these should be mobs. Go on the test center and do it. No, on the uh, test dummies. I'm sorry. Oh, on the test dummies. Okay. Yeah, so look at uh, if you see the damage is like eight thousand to ten thousand, uh, mm-hmm. and it's three point two attacks per second um, on a boss that's going to be ten to twelve uh, because you get the spidey pummel increase, and then once uh, once spider to the fly because spider to the fly is working right now, so you're seeing that increase. Um, but then once web spray works, I'm getting anywhere from nineteen to twenty thousand uh, attacks on each attack and that's yeah. 3.2 attacks per second so you're you're looking roughly at 60,000 dps when everything's working which right now it's not <laughs> all right um okay that's it's clear um bumfoot ask what's your favorite spider-man costume uh my favorite is probably the symbiote um after that uh the superior and then the bagman i can quickly show um show them i think this is superior. Yeah, I like I like that one a lot. Uh, Petsum asks, "I like to have Web Mall as AOE. What do you think of that?" So, so Web Mall is a uh, it's it's kind of since it's a line a line power and it only does a, it does it twice per second. You're getting you're you're able to do a lot less damage to an AOE. Um, stick around. You're able to do all the damage up front, and it's in a wide cone. So you're outside of PVP. 
um, web mall just isn't isn't as efficient. Uh, if you're super super squishy and you're and you're and you're really worried about mobs getting up close.